So, you're ready to take a cruise, huh? But you're also overwhelmed by all the available choices? Well, we're here to help break down the four main categories of ocean cruising and which cruise lines are available in each, as well as everything that's included and excluded. You're watching Popular Cruising, and I'm your host, Jason Leppert, ready to explain what you can expect from standard, premium, upscale, and luxury ships. Whether you're an experienced cruiser or a first-timer, Understanding these classifications will help you make more informed choices when planning your next vacation at sea. This is a cruise. That's right. Deluxe accommodation. And no matter which category you decide on, each offers its own set of advantages and caters to different preferences and, of course, budgets. In most cases, costs increase as categories do, but not always depending on exact per diems and any available deals which would also factor in. By clarifying the distinctions between standard, premium, upscale, and luxury cruise lines, we aim to empower you to make the right choice for your dream cruise. As a quick aside, this video's focus is exclusively on ocean cruising and not river or expedition cruising, but we may tackle those segments in future videos as well. And if you haven't already done so, we invite you to please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when all our new videos publish. So to start, let's delve into the standard cruise category, which is sometimes referred to as mainstream. As you might expect, these trips are ideal for budget-conscious travelers looking for the most affordable options but often with the choice to upgrade into a ship within a ship, but more on that a bit later. When considering standard mainstream, the lines we're usually talking about, in alphabetical order, are Carnival Cruise Line, MSC Cruises, Norwegian Cruise Line, and Royal Caribbean International. All categories of cruising offer exceptional value propositions, especially when comparing them to land-based vacations, but these ones are the least expensive and the most casual. In fact, depending on the deal, there are times when it's cheaper to take a cruise than to stay at home. And the reason why is everything that is included, from private accommodations to dining and entertainment. Deluxe can mean several different things. For example, in the diner, deluxe means comes with french fries. On a standard mainstream cruise, the following is included. The private accommodations of your choosing, a large portion of dining, such as at the main dining room, buffet, pizzeria, etc. Basic beverages, including tap water, certain juices, non-specialty coffee, iced tea, and the like. Most entertainment from stage shows and comedy sets to live music and more other all-ages activities and even complimentary kids' facilities, as well as the onboard pools, whirlpools, water slides, and gym. Not included, however, and requiring a surcharge are as follows. Shark excursions and airport transfers, specialty restaurants and premium dishes in the main restaurant, soft drinks, alcoholic beverages, and specialty coffees and teas, some specialty entertainment such as, say, IMAX on Carnival, premium activities like spot treatments, or even roller coaster rides, cabana rentals, and arcade games. Also extra are internet access, retail purchases, art auctions, and the casino, plus service gratuities and tips. Another available option to consider is expanding set inclusions by booking into what is known as a ship-within-a-ship complex, essentially a higher class of amenities and service. MSC has its Yacht Club, Norwegian has the Haven, Royal Caribbean has its Royal Suite class, and even Carnival has bonus perks for those who reserve its Excel suites. The benefit of these ship-within-a-ship options is having full access to everything regular passengers have at their disposal, aboard all the latest biggest ships in the world, and then adding a substantial cherry on top. Guests therein are granted exclusive access to extra lounges, bars, restaurants, and pool and sun decks. But going this route can increase pricing into the territory of categories above, and those are also worth considering on their own. Usually by comparison to standard ones, slightly smaller ships can be found in the next premium category, but with more value adds. These provide a touch of elegance and enhanced amenities to make your cruising even more deluxe. When they say deluxe accommodations, they mean deluxe. Premium cruise lines alphabetically extend to celebrity cruises, Disney Cruise Line, which is often incorrectly grouped in with standard brands, Holland America Line, Princess Cruises, and Virgin Voyages, which is really in a sort of premium plus category of its own, as you'll come to find inclusion-wise. Historically, this category has been known for raising the bar on its food in particular, but also its entertainment, activities, and accommodations. For instance, Disney really is a step above the likes of Carnival for offering not only better overall cuisine and especially its distinct family-friendly shows, but also larger staterooms with unique split bathrooms. Mostly similar to standard cruising's lists, on a premium cruise the following is included. The private accommodations of your choosing, a large portion of dining, main dining room, buffet, pizzeria, etc. Basic beverages encompassing tap water, certain juices, regular coffee and tea, most entertainment such as stage shows, live music, and beyond, and again, all ages activities and kids facilities, plus the ship's pools, whirlpools, and fitness center. Excluded, on the other hand, are shore excursions and airport transfers, specialty restaurants, except on Virgin, 
soft drinks, alcohol, specialty coffees and teas, some specialty entertainment, premium activities such as spa treatments and more, as well as internet access, again except on Virgin, retail, auctions, and the casino, and also service gratuities and tips, except on Virgin, and once more but to varying degrees, ship within a ship options are ready to elevate the premium experience further. Such is the case thanks to Celebrities Retreat, plus Disney Cruise Line's Concierge Level, Hall on America Line's Club Orange offerings, Princess's Sanctuary, and Richard's Rooftop on Virgin. Better still is the upscale or upmarket category of cruising for those seeking a more refined voyage. With a greater focus on personalized service, these brands provide a more decadent atmosphere and experience, often boasting unique itineraries, elevated dining, and increased passenger space ratios. That is the amount of ship volume afforded to each guest to avoid. Cozy, isn't it? Is, what, is cozy? A good fight will give you a concussion. The upscale lines in question are Azamara, which could be considered luxury light given its latest inclusions, Cunard for its mix of traditional class-like experiences, although not all upcoming inclusions apply, Oceania Cruises, and Viking. Branching out more significantly regarding what is and is not included are the following upscale inclusions. The private accommodations of your choosing, this time most dining, including the main dining room, specialty restaurants, and room service, the same basic beverages of tap water, juices, and regular coffees and teas, but also house wines, beer, and soft drinks at both lunch and dinner. Now usually all entertainment and most activities, plus internet access here, besides the pools, whirlpools, and gym, and even some shore excursions and other destination experiences. But not included on upscale cruises are still most shore excursions and transfers, some private restaurants and premium dining events, other alcoholic drinks except on Izamara, certain premium activities, the usual retail purchases, art auctions, and casino gambling, and service gratuities and tips, but not on Azamara. And again, one could argue that the mixed class approach of Cunard could be considered another ship within a ship when taking into consideration the line's grill suites accommodations and special amenities. And last but not least is luxury, which is sometimes hyperbolically marketed as ultra luxury. In either case, this epitome of opulence is unparalleled in its sophistication. From exquisite accommodations to world-class dining, luxury cruise lines deliver the ultimate in indulgence. This is gorgeous, what a sleigh! Encompassed in the luxury category for some time have been Crystal, Seabourn, Silver Sea, and Regent Seven Seas Cruises. But the segment is starting to rapidly expand with the emergence of Explorer Journeys and scenic luxury cruises and tours, as well as even Four Seasons Yachts and the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection. These are touted as all-inclusive brands, but some are more so than others. Typically though, these are the luxury category inclusions, the private accommodations of your choosing, most dining extending to the main dining room, specialty restaurants and room service, even most beverages, including alcohol at any time, all entertainment and most activities, internet access again, plus pools, whirlpools, the gym, and usually thermal suites on luxury, fully bundled service gratuities and tips, and also many to unlimited shore excursions and transfers. The few things excluded on luxury are still some shore excursions and transfers, typically private ones, some private restaurants and dining events, only the most top shelf alcoholic beverages and wines, premium activities like spa treatment still, and naturally retail purchases, art auctions, and the casino. But that's about it that is not included on a luxury or so-called ultra luxury cruise. And believe it or not, this list is still not exhaustive of all ocean going cruise lines, not to mention the growing number of expedition ones. Will you choose standard, premium, upscale, luxury, or one of the niche ones for yourself? Just remember, when you're ready to book your cruise, we recommend doing so through our sponsor, Fairy Godmother Travel, who will magically take care of all your trip planning absolutely for free. To get your complimentary quote, just click the link right here, or follow the website, phone number, or email address below. Thanks so much for watching. If you would, as it really does help support us, please like this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, while hitting that bell icon to be notified of new videos, Watch our other ones and visit popularcruising.com.